Hi folks, my name is Carrie. I'm an academic advisor with the College of Sciences. I am here to chat with you today about the new biomedical sciences major with a pre-health concentration that is being rolled out for the 2020-2021 academic year. Um, any currently enrolled ODU student that was admitted on a previous catalog has the option to switch into this program. So to determine if that's the best move for you, I wanna highlight the differences between being a biology major on a previous catalog and this program. So the biomedical sciences major with a pre-health concentration is suited for students with an interest in applying for medical school, both MD and DO, optometry school, dental school, or pharmacy school after graduation. The curriculum outlined here is really what like advisors have been guiding students to do who are pre-health bound. So now it's just articulated more clearly of what that pathway forward looks like. So we're going to start at the bottom with the general education classes. In short, there hasn't been any changes there, which is great. Um, where the first changes start to show up is in the departmental requirements. You still need to take general chemistry one and two. You need to take organic one and two lecture and lab now as well as biochemistry. So this is defining your chemistry sequence and not having those chemistry electives kind of like up for discussion on what it is that you're taking. Um, and biochemistry is listed up here in the upper division required courses section. So it is a little bit separate from the rest of these chemistry courses listed down here. Another change in the departmental requirements is that you do not have the option of picking between oceanography or physics. You must take physics. Um, that is what the pre-health programs are wanting to see on your transcript. Moving up to the top of the page, um, things change a little bit more. Bio 1 lecture and lab is still required, um, but the core four classes that were previously ecology, evolution, cell biology, and genetics have changed. Now it's been changed to doing both parts of anatomy and physiology, 250, 251, or 240 and 241. Um, to, and cell bio and genetics. So this means that students no longer need to take ecology and evolution. The required classes in the upper division required courses section are not new to ODU. They've been offered as an option for upper division biology elective options, but it is new that they are required for this program. Essentially, some of your elective space is being defined for you with immunology, microbiology, and immunological methods. So let's scroll on down a little bit further. In this program, you have 12 credits of upper division biology electives. Of these 12 credits, only one of your classes needs to have a laboratory component to it. You'll notice in the section above that two of the classes you need to take um, micro and immunological methods are lab courses. So you're still doing three labs. Um, you just have already knocked two of them out in the required coursework. So you only need to pick one more. Um, as always, any class that has an asterisk denotes um, that it has lab designation and anything with a W counts towards your one required writing intensive. Uh, last but certainly not least, with this uh, curriculum, taking one additional chemistry lecture and lab would fulfill the requirements to earn a chemistry minor, and that is highlighted there in yellow. All in all, if you haven't taken ecology, evolution, and an oceanography class, um, this could be talking with your advisor about.